This is developing as well a state of emergency in place in Minnesota after a deadly police shooting. The streets are tense and a curfew will start in one hour's time. Yeah, that's at the video that's at the center of all of this. Dante Wright's death sparking angry protests just 10 miles from where George Floyd was killed. WGN's Brona Tumulty is joining us now with more details on this particular case. Good evening, guys. Yeah, Dante Wright was just 20 years old. He was pulled over Sunday afternoon, seemingly for an expired license plate. Newly released body camera footage shows what happens next, and it may be disturbing for some to watch. This video shows what happened in the moments after Dante Wright was pulled over north of Minneapolis Sunday in the city of Brooklyn Center. A struggle ensuing between him and an officer as he tried to get back into his car. Then it appears a different officer tries to tase him, <laughs> but fires her gun instead. Police Chief Tim Gannon speaking today on the discharge of that fatal bullet. This appears to me, from what I viewed and the officer's reaction in distress immediately after, that this was an accidental discharge that resulted in the tragic death of Mr. Wright. Before all of this happened, Wright's mother says he called her. He called me at about 1.40 that he was getting pulled over by the police. She heard some of what was going on, but that call was soon dropped. When she called back, she says she got the news no mother ever should. And his girlfriend answered, which was the passenger in the car, and said that he'd been shot and he, she put it on the driver's side and my son was laying there lifeless. After being struck, it seems Wright drove his vehicle for a bit before crashing it. As news of the 20-year-old's death spread, angry protesters filled the streets of Brooklyn Center with reports of looting and violence against officers. Our response to that is the West Metro Command team uh, mobilized to uh, stop uh, damage to property, windows being broken, and uh, rocks being thrown at officers. The Wright family now calling for peace. They don't want all of this, all of this. I just want my baby home. That's all I want is I want him to be home. I don't want everybody out here chanting and screaming and yelling. I just want him home. As is President Biden, along with other authorities who say chaos simply won't be tolerated. We're calling for peace and calm. And uh, we should listen to uh, uh, Dante's mom, who is calling for peace and calm. All of this happening, of course, right down the street from where the Derek Chauvin trial is ongoing following the death of George Floyd last year. The officer involved here is now said to be on administrative leave. That curfew we've mentioned for the Twin Cities area goes into effect at 7 and runs through 6 a.m. Several events have already been cancelled for today in the wake of the shooting, including the Twins versus Red Sox game that was set for tonight. That curfew in just a few hours. Thank you, Brona. All right, and let's talk.